In this example, we will create a contact set from two components, a ball and a socket. By activating each component one at a time, you will be able to see that the ball part has a spherical end that's anchored within a spherical socket. The first step in creating a contact set is to add one by one each of the components to the contact set. You may do this by right mouse clicking on each part name and selecting contact set located near the bottom of the menu. You will notice that you can drag the ball end around and back through the base part. By activating the contact solver in the inspect menu, the movement of the ball end will be limited to the area where any portion of the part does not make contact with the socket, just as in a real life situation. 